Good evening and welcome back to the Barrow AFC career mode. We have played 33 games. We are sat in fifth place. We have a game in hand on a few of the teams above us, but not crew because crew are also in the cup. Hence why they have the same number of games played, but we're sitting in fifth place. 13 games left in the season and the big talking point is up in that top left hand corner. And now, quite obvious, we are at a critical point with the board here. They are not happy. To be honest, they're just not happy. And the biggest reason is the mistake I have to admit to now with the financials. We had to bring in better quality players to compete in the league. But in doing so, we obviously have to pay them slightly higher wages and maybe I paid them too much but I had to bring in the players to make the team competitive which is what I've done we are far more competitive than we were but the wage bill is just a touch too high so all I have left is what you can see on the screen right now gain automatic promotion that is the biggest lifeline I've got let's put it like that let's take a look at the calendar see what we've got today we've got the Accrington Stanley game then the cup game that will be a sim because that's the EFL trophy semi-final I've simmed my way to the semi-final and the only reason I might play the match is if it's a final but even then I might sim it I'm not sure it would be our first final so I might play it but I can't decide that I don't know I don't know, to be honest. Then we have Gillingham, and then we have Harrogate, and that is going to be, or Harrogate, that is going to be the three matches we actually play in today's episode. We're going to quickly look at the standings again. Because Harrogate are down, they're struggling. 23rd, that should be, you know, it should be an easier game for us. Doesn't mean it will be, because they've knocked us out of the cup. But then Gillingham... And Accrington are both teams that are very close to us. Very. And I need to make sure, to be honest, of six points in those in those games. I need nine points this episode. I need nine points. And this first game against Accrington is a huge game. They are top of the league. And to we are at critical point with the board right now. This has to be... This has to be a the performance of the season. I need to match the energy that we brought when we beat Crew 6-0. And I thought Onyango was going to take that, and he didn't. So we're 1-0 down. Great start. Great start. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Patrick Brough. Into the advanced position. This could level it. Real defensive resilience. Gordon, man, that is It's a bad turn. News to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Well, AFC Wimbledon were awarded the penalty. Oh my lord, what? What a save! What is that? And Yango just got chipped over, and then the defender. Now sending it in. How did Gordon miss that header? What is? It's not going to be one of those games. I refuse it to be one of those games where I just nothing works for me. Okay, nope, it still is. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, you can't really. I can't win anything right now. I just can't win anything. Well, it still could be dangerous. Nicely blocked. That's gone over. Okay. <sighs> this is not. This has not been a good start. It does feel like one of those games where the game is just against you and you've got to fight it. 
Difficult to stop him. He's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And a goal! But that's what we do. That's what we do. We have to fight it and we will. We'll fight it. I'm not letting it go. We need a win. And the goal has come from an unlikely source in Fofana. But we need a goal from anywhere at this point. Well, sincere apologies to Alex, I must say. Because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow. Good work on Yango. Have scored. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. They couldn't maintain possession. Double tackle. Lovely work. Well, time for a scoring update. Okay, we'll take the ball. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Okay, what's Alex Scott going to say? A goal for Newport County. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're back level. It's one all with 36 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Good block, that's fine. Good attack. Going to do the same thing again. And this time it's going in. Come on! Come on, same thing again. Carving up the wing. 2-1. Now let's weather the storm of their attack before half-time. If we can, we go and attack ourselves. Come on. That's good. That's fine. That's good. That's great. Josh Gordon is in. Near post. Come on. Come on, 3-1. This is when it matters. This is critical. The board are on our backs. Accrington are top of the league. We need the win. It's a game in hand. 3-1. Half time. Come on. Come on. Let's take a look at the results. Exeter are winning. Okay, that's fine. They're in second place. We're still chasing them. But the team above us is Doncaster. So where are they? Crew are winning. Doncaster are drawing. Crew are winning. They're also above us, I think. Doncaster are drawing. We need Doncaster to lose. We need Crew to not win. Plenty of time. We're 3-1 up. This is an important second half. We've just got to play a regular performance here now. We've done the hard work. Do not concede. That is the main thing here now. Do not concede a silly goal. He's in behind. There we go. That's a great block from Onyango. We get the ball up. We get the ball out. Garner. It's with Garner. Oh, unlucky. That was good passing. That's a hefty pass. That, I think we can get to that. Now with Quintero. Good save. And we're going to hold on to it for a second. Hands off the controller. And there we go. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the Look at that. That's a lot of space. I think they may have changed their shape here. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Counter attacking, very much an option. No high quality defending. Gordon's through the middle here. If he can get the touch off, he has. Can they create something from here? Come on. Come on. Somehow, I don't know how, honestly. You can check the video. It says ultimate. We are playing on the hardest difficulty, but when it really matters, the team is pulling together and they pull together the results. And Mancini on the ball. 
That's fine. That's fine. Look, we'll take the yellow. That's fine. We're four one up here. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. How simple for the keeper. Fifteen minutes left for play. I think Atkinson have definitely gone full way here. Now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. It's another goal for Exeter City. The goalkeeper did all he could, but Sorry, Oh, Josh Kay. Couldn't quite get there. Exeter are winning. That's fine. Haven't heard anything about Doncaster or Crew yet, so I can only assume those results are the same. Well, apologies for interrupting. Which would mean Crew are winning and uh, Doncaster are drawing. Oh, the chip's gone wide. We did fight back. At the start of the game, first 20 minutes, I really thought this was going to be a struggle. Like, they were really annoying. I could not get the ball. I could not do anything, really. And reading it absolutely superbly. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Solgar. And that is that. The Come on. Blows his for a huge time. win. And it's a victory for the visitors. Huh, a massive win. A massive win. 1-0 down from just some awful play at the start, but really came back. 4-1. And what's that? I can't see. Exeter, 2-1. Nah, I couldn't get down fast enough. I couldn't get down the screen fast enough. And it's showing us the Papa John's. Okay, uh, let's just... Yeah, we're going to go through the Papa John's uh, semi-final. We're no longer in critical with that win. So that's at least a good thing. <laughs> We're no longer in critical. Um, let's make some changes here. Cruzy, Grayson, Stevens. Fofana's looking a touch. Just let me get to the DMs, damn it. There we go. Sim match. And we will just see what happens. We will just see what happens. I'm going to grab a drink and... See what happens. Crew are in the dark blue, it looks like. Over the touch line for a throw in. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And slipped through beautifully. And then 1-0 Barrow. The first goal in the Jordan Stevens. One shot, one goal. One nil then. Stole the ball again. A very timely interception. Oh, that's not good. Good tackle. Okay. 15 minutes. And back with Gordon. Griffiths. Oh, lovely incisive pass. What's an important piece of defending. It's gone over for a goal kick. That's fine. Marlon Pack. Jordan Stevens. It'll be a corner. Corner ball. And no way through. This looks interesting. Just can't get it past them. A real opening now. Oh, good work from the keeper. Goodness, okay, 10 minutes till half time. Was not lost on the Possession is kind of evening up a bit. It's 2 0. Come on. Come on. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Well, the threat oh, was that was a chance. That was a big chance. I'm not sure the pass needed to be made. Good tackle, Mac. There we go. I'm not jumping to result. We're going to watch the second half. We're currently enjoying well, a 2-0 lead against yet. Crew here. Kind of In this semi-final. This is a semi-final. Oh, injury. Oh, that's not good.
Grayson can play CDM, so that's fine. And as per the role-playing rules, off the bar, uh, we have to make the sub and accept the injury. I think that might be offside. I'm not sure. No, okay. But we've got it back. In behind for him to chase. Okay, that was offside. 30 minutes to go. Got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Options in the center. Could reduce the deficit. 2 1. Okay. There is hope for them. Can we hold out 25 minutes? So on with the match. 2 1 is the score line. What's going to happen next? It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Two two. two. Wow. That did not take a long Oh my lord. Why is Gordon playing there? <laughs> Ready to write them off, but not anymore. All square now. Can we get a goal here? But only just. Can we get something here? We were 2 0 up. We were really controlling the game. It's with Garner. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Rob McDonald. Oh, good still. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of the game. Oh, good save to keep them level. Well, at this stage of the game, that's a vital stop. Fantastic. Three minutes to go, and then it'll be penalties. Rob McDonald. That's the 90 minutes. Oh no. All fairly run of the mill in terms of what the keeper. Straight to penalties. Straight to penalties. And good work. We've missed. In it goes. Crew have scored 1 0. We've scored. Okay, 1 0. We need crew to miss now. And there. 2-1. Come on. Come on, boys. 2-2. Two, two. Come on. We need crew to miss. That's all we need. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. 3-3. Three, three. Come on, crew. We need the crew to miss. They've scored. Okay, now we've got to score and hope they miss. We have scored. I'm not going to interfere. And he finishes from the spot. What a moment to take his team through to the final. Well, what a test of character for him. There we go. Shows so much conviction, doesn't he? Garner missed the first game. penalty and that was all the difference. Would have been against Cheltenham in the final. But it's okay. It's okay. Very, very, yeah, very annoying. Very annoying, but... It is what it is. Ghana clearly had a good tournament as well. Semi-finalists. Lost on penalties. Why is it showing me the Conference League? We are nowhere near the Conference League. <laughs> White to miss five days. Okay. That's not so bad. Um, not, it, was, it did say light injury. So. Let's. Five days only. 50 grand, almost 60 grand. We still have a game in hand. We've now got two games in hand. Above, on the teams above us. And one on some, obviously, but two games in hand. Okay, well, we need a win. A win takes us to 59 and 4th. Our two games in hand would take us to 62 and 3rd. Beating Accrington has obviously pulled them back into the running a little bit more. Gillingham are up next. Gillingham who are 8th, 9th, 10th in the league. Here we go. Second game of the episode that we're going to actually play. Unfortunate to go out in the cup, you know, it is what it is, but I said... I kind of have always stipulated we're going to simulate the cup, the EFL trophy, play the League Cup, play the FA Cup, 
And we made it to a semi-final, which is not so bad. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent. That's a foul. Okay. That might be a yellow card. That probably should be a yellow card, in fact. Because I actually didn't know if it was a good tackle or not, but it's clearly gone through the player to get there. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game. That's a poor challenge and deserved the booking. Okay. About there. Going to go for about three bars. Just lacked a bit of conviction and straight. Off the bar. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Okay, well, come on. And he saw the situation developing. We've got the ball back. Well, Gillingham are, really look at that, 11 they players so behind the ball here. The well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. Marlon Pack. Everyone's gone forward. It doesn't actually give me many options. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. It's now 1-0. Tranmere are beating today. Sutton. That's okay. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, my word. Is that... That's gone in, and it's not offside. Okay, first, how'd the pass get through? Second, how is it not offside? Third, how did he get the goal in the first place? How did he get it past the keeper? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm flabbergasted. Really good. Kind of a goal out of nowhere there, but we did put the pressure on real early. Hit the bar already. So I am feeling pretty good about the team. Nichols. Timote Dieng. Really good challenge. It's unlucky from Gordon there, but that's a good steal. Oh no! That oh yes, well done, Gordon. It's with Garner. Out wide, and we're gonna do the same again. Ah, oh, it is the game. pass I wanted to make, but just not enough fizz on it at that time. Abraham's. Green has it. Oh, I thought I'd lined it up. Good save. Okay, let's make sure we defend this one. And over it comes. Able to deal That's good. And a chance to whip it in here. A wonderful intervention. <sighs> Must be. Wide. Oh, well, I, I'm glad because he for some reason Fofana got his feet in the way when the pass was not meant for him. Marlon Pack. Plenty of support here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Green has it. Oh, that's good work. Can we get the ball forward? No, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're leading 1 0. An important goal, a good goal, a very good goal. Let's take a look at the scores. Doncaster are playing crew. That's huge. Oh, I wish I'd known that going in. Okay, 1 0. Accrington are winning. That's annoying. Exeter are drawing. At this point, I don't know what's best for me. Doncaster and Crew drawing, obviously they both drop points. I think that's best because there's only one automatic spot. Exeter and Accrington also, I need to hope, can drop points at various times. But, first and foremost, I need to win as many games as possible. That's good work from Garner. McKenzie. Green. 
David Tutonda showing patience looking for the equalizer and he has options available surely the equalizer what a big chance that was keeper has the ball a goal has been scored in one of the other games Alex Scott has the news it's another goal for Exeter City they're ahead by two now with 54 minutes played thanks as always Alex wow The uh, the Gillingham players have really pressed up forward here. Thought that might be mine, which means they've not got a lot in defence. Timote Dieng, Tristan Abrahams. Well, they've lost the ball. Okay, Patrick Bross going to carry into the Counter gap there. That's a big gap for Gordon here. This looks threatening. Oh, oh good block. block. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And is that another corner? It is, okay. Time. 70 minutes. Am I going to... Am I going to be annoyed that I haven't scored more? And in the end, no damage done. Abrahams. Lapsley. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oh, my word. Go on, Gordon. Come on. Gonna playing him through. Gordon finishes again. Two assists for Ghana. Two goals for Gordon. GG. So underway again. And a 2-0 advantage here. Tom Nichols. Lapsley. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Oh no, I've given away a pen. The referee says penalty. He's just run into him. He's just run into him. <laughs> it's quite silly, actually. He's just run into them. Okay. Um, I'm going to go left. Ah. Ten minutes. The one goal cushion. I've really shot myself in the foot there. Okay, 81 minutes. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Swindon Town. They've pulled one back and now trail by one. 83, 84 minutes. Many thanks, Alex. He's going to keep the ball. I'm not even going to try and push. He's going to keep the ball. 86. Now 87. Patrick Bruff. 88. The point is all I need. The point, the three points. decided that two additional minutes are in order. All the way back to the goalie is fine. And, and we'll take the final whistle, three and points. The not a very interesting last <laughs> ten minutes. I could not care less. <laughs> I genuinely could not care less. Doncaster got the win. Exeter got the win. But Accrington drew. So... That, that's quite interesting, actually. That is quite interesting. Player chat. Everyone's considering their time here, are they? We got a win. We're in fourth. Two games in hand. Up above Crew. Up above Wimbledon. 12 points off Exeter. Who are five points clear at the top. Wow. Wowzer. Okay. Next game is against Harrogate. They're down below. We're currently... I said we needed nine points. From today's league games. We've got six. Out of six. 
We lost in the cup, but it doesn't matter. It's it's annoying. I would like you know it's sad, but we're gonna advance. Get through a training day. We got the win. That's all that matters. We got the win. Advance again. Here we go. Harrogate Town. Really struggling. Really struggling, actually. So when are our extra games? That's kind of what I, I need to... That Crawley game must be an extra game. Um... Colchester, Wimbledon. Yeah, so the games we've got now are 16th of March. This must be a Saturday. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 games the weekend. Then two games midweek. We're one of them. That must be one of our games games in hand and Wimbledon have one game in hand while we have two so the midweek games must be the extra games so there's Crawley there's Carlisle and then another midweek game to end the season that's interesting maybe the playoffs then take precedence over the weekend games okay okay so Let's get into it. It's going to be raining. Ugh. Okay, fine. Warren wants to play some more. Which I can't... His rating should say... Like, his rating should. Stevens wants to play some more as well. We'll let Stevens play. I think Garner's probably time to swap out. Cruzy as well. Um, yeah, let's play Newbie. Everyone else is kind of okay. Gots isn't okay. White's not enjoying it. Yeah. I need to... I think... Uh, the first team are obviously the first team. I need to perhaps next season focus on keeping the first team as the strongest players. Like, by a step up, maybe. Maybe a whole step up. But an exciting match and prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Muldoon. Oh, that was a foul. He takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Disappointing pass. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Okay, got the ball back there. Slight scare. Haven't really been able to get through the Harrogate defences well, yet. There's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. Playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Oh, he can score here, Derek. No Corner ball. Through. That's fine. So we sold Farman to uh, Harrogate, and now he's playing against us. Corner kick played in. And the danger's still on. And that is defending of the highest order. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yeah, Crawley Town were awarded the penalty. It went top bins. No goalkeeper was going to save that one. It's now 1 0. With... It has to be. Oh, yes. Harrogate really might be my bogey team. Just can't seem to. Just can't seem to. Do the business what against them. Yeah, great, Let's thanks. What happens next. Luke Armstrong. Now can they create something? Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made.
That's a foul. Should be a yellow as well, I reckon. I don't know, just a talking to maybe. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Marlon Pack looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Pack with it. Is this the moment? And able to get a body in the way. Half time, maybe? Yep, half time. Okay, 1 0 down. Went a bit quiet there just because I was trying to really focus on the passing, but nothing just yet. Plenty of time, though. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, come on. And he has options available. This looks interesting. What? You can't just. That's not playing. <laughs> That's not playing the ball. Just stepping into someone. That's a foul. At least test the goalkeeper. Marlon Pack. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. That was a foul as well. But attacking possibilities. Come on. Those those goals, I score a lot of those goals. The ball is out wide, kind of turning, coming into the box, angling the ball in and then just pass, pass, pass until the shot is available. 1-0. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, good use of the ball. And struggling to get the shot off. Just made sure nothing came of that. Well, a goal update for us to know about. I wasn't even sprinting. I don't know why Josh Gordon sprinting up the pitch like that. The score's level again now at 1-1. Sorry to jump in. Great. Josh Gordon, why are you doing that? I'm not even sprinting. I wasn't even holding sprint. He's just like, I'm going to run. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And then he's just well, the giving the ball away again. Having to interrupt you just then. Just to confirm the home side have scored. And the match is level at 1-1. One, one. <laughs> one it back. Strongly to win the ball. Really important piece of last ditch defending. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, his dribbling is so bad. It'll shortly be full time, and the visitors have the work cut out. He's in. Go on. Blocked. Okay, fine. Sutton's coming off for Ghana. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Good save. Fine. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser, and there's not long left now. An attack full of promise. Still possibilities. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, the visitors have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes. Really starting to turn the screw now. Time is of the essence, of course, but you feel if they keep creating chances, don't panic, then surely the equaliser will come. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. 
this game. That's game 2 1. Okay, fine. So, of course, we lose to the team we shouldn't lose to. Uh, Josh Gordon's dribbling, man. It's just not good enough. Maybe the wet really does mess it up. Nine shots. Chances at the end. Is what it is. Wimbledon dropped points. That's lucky. That's quite lucky. Here's our game in hand. In fourth, yeah. Here's our game in hand. Doncaster above Accrington now. Wow. Things really change fast. Open up the table. Wimbledon dropping points was very important. And Crew must have dropped points as well. Let me take a look on the right hand side here. Accrington lost. Exeter are away. Seven points. I don't see them being caught. Tranmere dropped points. Doncaster won. Crew lost to Crawley. Wow. Salford and Wimbledon drew. That that's good for us. Wow. And we obviously dropped points ourselves. Doncaster won, I think. Yeah, they did. Accrington lost. Okay, that'll be it for today. That'll be it for today. That was a good episode. Six points from six and then sadly couldn't get the win against Harrogate. Ten games left. Just league matches to the end of the season. It's still critical. It's 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 going to be tough, but we'll keep going and we're really going to fight for that automatic promotion spot. That's what we're going to do. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.